Hi, Elizabeth Larkham. Thank you for being here. And I would like to send my gratitude to you. And I think everyone will agree uh, for writing this amazing book and providing our industry with this collection of your education, your expertise, and wisdom. Uh, can you <laughs> share this with us, please, the mm. cover of your book? Mm. Flash it in motion. Thank you so much, Amy, and Pilates anytime for welcoming me here. This is Fascia in Motion, Fascia-Focused Movement for Pilates. This book was probably a good five years in the making. And I remember that every time I came to Pilates Anytime to film in January, I would always mention my book. And so throughout the year, people would say, hmm, how's that book? Where is that book? It's not done yet. So I'm so grateful um, that it really exists. It has its own life now. I carried it for five years, and now it's, it's everyone. It's for everyone. This is exciting. What motivated you to write the book? Let's start with that. Ah. You know, um, Pilates has been my fascination and my joy and my interest for over 30 years. And during this time, I've always wanted to contribute to the evolution of Pilates in a respectful way, a way that honors the, the work of Joseph Pilates, and in a way that integrates the interdisciplinary information that informs our work as Pilates teachers. So my motivation for writing this book was to bring the research from fascia together with the practice of Pilates to see what we come up with. If you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out. Um, it's more than a book, though. If those of you who have it already, if you don't, it, you'll see that it is com deeply different than just a textbook. Uh, different contributors, pictures, historical images. Can you differentiate a bit why, how it's different? Yes, indeed. Being a Pilates teacher myself for so many years and living in the community with Pilates teachers, I know that all of us would, uh, we'd rather move ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we're not moving ourselves, then we'd rather be teaching other people to move. Mm -hmm. If we're not teaching others, then um, certainly we could be looking at them move on Pilates anytime. And that I don't know too many Pilates teachers who will be fascinated enough to just read a whole page of text. So I thought, what a good idea if we um, have really rich, uh, really rich images, really rich photos that convey movement, mm -hmm. as in time-lapse photography, mm -hmm. with overlaying with computer graphics, so that the moment you see the page, you go, oh, that movement is interesting to me. I can feel what that's like through my near, mirror neurons, or I would like to try that photo out. So we, we start with, uh, we have rich images. And not only do we have rich images of uh, contemporary applications, but very rich images mm. of um, historical photos from Joseph Pilates that are overlain with computer graphics that show the myofascial continuities. Yes. Now, I'm exceedingly fortunate and grateful to Ken Endelman, who opened his Pilates archives to me for the research and for the study. And Ken gave permission for use of some of the historic photos okay. in the book. So it's thanks to Ken that I have that, that opportunity. These are um, previously um, unpublished photos that show um, Joseph Pilates with the equipment he invented right. and showing the myofascial continuities. Joseph Pilates was so way ahead of his time. We've always known that. And now we know that the fascia research is catching up with him. Exactly. Yeah, it's fascinating, uh, to, say the, to say the least. In addition, um, and furthermore, while I'm still Absolutely. on this story here, um, this book is a collaboration between Pilates Anytime and Handspring Publishing, Handspring Publishing in Edinburgh, such at the end of each chapter, there are QR codes. And you can use your device to scan the code, which will take you immediately to a Pilates Anytime uh, portion of the website 
so that you can see the video clip from the classes that we filmed that correspond to the specific fascia research that we're writing about. Lucky us. I hope. Lucky. <laughs> Fortunate us. Mm -hmm. What do you hope uh, the Pilates world will get from this book? Mm. I would speak? hope that the, that the Pilates world, Pilates teachers, will reappreciate the genius of Joseph Pilates, recognizing that, that fascia research in the past five, ten years is reinforcing what Joseph Pilates knew intuitively and practiced in his physicality. So a reappreciation of our forefather and the people who teach um, his sequences, his work. I would also like for Pilates teachers to be inspired and emboldened to uh, recognize that fascia research is moving or encouraging our field to move in the direction of a, a multitude of vectors and a variety of different movement planes such that we can honor the work of Joseph Pilates and um, appreciate movements in the Pilates environment that still have integrity. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. May I ask what fascinates you so much about fascia? Mm. You personally. Uh, right. Well, in all of these years in teaching Pilates since 1985, I have been looking for uh, research that validates why the movements seem to work, seem to be so effective. And I can probably, you know, I could name any number of uh, research projects and uh, concepts from physical therapy and from anatomy research that, I've, that have impressed me, and so I've followed them for a while. But it was the research of fascia that seemed to fit my um, intuitive response to my physical response to moving in Pilates. Mm -hmm. The feeling of well-connected well-being mm -hmm. and the feeling of, we talk about the feeling of whole body movement. Uh, that is, I find, not only physically reassuring and necessary for structural integrity, but I find that it gives uh, me an emotional sense of a centeredness and uh, well-being also. Basically, it decreases my base level of anxiety. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, when, I found, when I found that there was a, a f perhaps there was a physical reason for that, I wasn't just making stuff up. I wasn't just bizarre. Where we know I'm bizarre and weird, but <laughs> I wasn't just making stuff up, you know? Um, that the, the neuromyofascia system has emotional as well as physical um, applications. Thank you. Mm. Where can people buy your book? Ah, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. If you go to the Handspring website, www.handspringpublishing.com, and you subscribe to their e-newsletter, mm -hmm. then you get a 20% discount coupon that you can apply to any book on the Handspring website. And if you go to Amazon, you can buy it there, too. Thank you. May I ask one more question? Please do. Um, I love talking to you yeah, about myself. To <laughs> um, yeah. What's next for you? You've put wow. so much time, so much energy and commitment into this, mm -hmm. this book uh, for uh, yourself, but for the industry. But what's next? Mm -hmm. what can we, what's next? Righto. Well, what's next is predicated on my wish for the book. <laughs> my wish for the book is that it will um, move everyone's, uh, each person's personal and professional evolution forward in the highest interest and the greatest good. It's a big wish. <laughs> But uh, it, it is my wish, um, because I would like for everyone who comes in contact with the book, as an instructor, as a practitioner, as just a curious scanner of like, whoa, that's a cool move. I want to try that. Let's go to Pilates anytime and see it. I would like for their personal and professional evolution 
to be encouraged in the highest interest and the greatest good. Because I can't, I, I don't have the feeling that I can control the um, global warming. No, <laughs> no, no. Nor, nor do I have, nor do I have a whole lot of say in Washington currently. Okay, but when it comes to our movement world, I can make a contribution. So now that I am well into the second half of my life, I mean, no matter how much good genes or um, how much self-discipline and good fortune, I'm still over halfway done. So I would like to build on this book mm. to continue contributing to the evolution of our field such that we have a movement system that's not only good for the physical structure, benefits the physical structure, but also contributes to uh, mental clarity mm. and to a sense of emotional um, centeredness and calm. And if I can support myself, I trust I'll be able to support myself doing that, yeah. uh, then I'll be, keep right on going, if I'm fortunate, to around 100, and then I'll be done. And we'll be very fortunate, too, <laughs> I might be Maybe so. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Elizabeth. Uh, it's my pleasure, Amy. I really enjoyed being oh, with you. Oh, no, here we go. So good. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Thank you, yes. Pilates, anytime. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye.